Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Taking my cab wherever I go. Just sitting here thinking, please have fare ready when reaching destination. Alrighty, the pudding and pie, the Bronx evening. Who that is? All right. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Uh-huh. You're always welcome, of course. Uh, is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're okay. in luck. He's here. Come on. Does he not have friends? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. There it is. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Uh-huh. Boom box. Uh-oh. Nudity. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's going to want that? No one's going to want that. <laughs> Some people might. Here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. I never smile. Uh How many times do I have to say it? Yeah, I'm just looking at him. Oh, it's you. Yeah. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For Shh. fuck's sake. What a dick. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Leave her alone, asshole. <laughs> oh, whatever you say. All right. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? No. Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Hook you up? Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck <laughs> you, Georgie. It's the big bad wolf. Yeah, it is. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay. You're a pretty big dick, and I don't like you. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Shh. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear? When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. Damn straight. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Wow, okay. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. 
This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? Yeah. Her clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Huh. <laughs> anyway, now what to do with me? Nout. Uh, you better shut Go that on, off. Man. Turn it off. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? One more time. Who hired her? What? Oh no, fuck! Well, that worked. Yo! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? What? You knocked it off! Fuck's sake! Who the fuck is that? Channing Tatum? Fuck off, Hans. Hans. Gruber. Alrighty. I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Coot. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. <laughs> Show me. There is no book. Uh -huh. As for you, Hans, we need to work on your Cricket. communication skills. Oh, don't. A fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Yeah. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. I will fuck up your boombox, dude. Hey, now. <laughs> Cigarettes are bad for you. Oh. You shouldn't cool. have messed with that. Uh huh. Don't even think about it. Well, just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I will fuck your shit up, Georgie. Do not touch that. Mm. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Yeah, well... There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. Alright, now That's your shit's getting was. fucked up. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, there's something right here, sir. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? <sighs> For fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get guilty. it. Guilty. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Ah, uh, yeah? <laughs> Fuck your sign. For fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I will destroy this place. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, sir. It only took me smashing up a couple of your things. Bloody come on, then. Damn straight. You don't want your shit Fucking getting fucked up. my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Uh-huh. You're a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. 
Thank you, sir. Yoink. I'll keep this forever. Whoop. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. <laughs> Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. Hans. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not my fucking secretary. Uh-huh. Did it freeze? Okay. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls what the make fuck? the arrangements with their oh. clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Uh huh. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Oh, that big ass cell me phone. While I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, go for it. I'll just go talk to this witness. Hello, business office. Yeah, I might as well grab that pack of cigarettes while I'm at it. Free cigarettes. For a man on the go. Smoke. Hey, there's no smoking in here. Shh. What's up? <laughs> Let's go inside. Yeah, right. Who's this at, Lily? Doesn't have anything. Cosmetics, coins, lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter, and coins. You forgot the coins, Bigby. What's this? A note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Huh. Connection. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Interesting. Let's look in here. Oh, Faith's. And <laughs> Big Bigby's like, ah. Oh. Locks broken open. open. Same thing with that one. Somebody broke into their shit. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Nothing. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Where'd that girl go? Lady. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Huh. Well, you know. I'm here now. Yes. Alright. She's lipsticking up. Trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Uh-huh. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Okay. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. Hmm. His lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Interesting. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? Is it a glamour of some sort? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Yep. Tell me. It's lips. Ah, they can't. They physically can't? Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? 
Huh. I know what's going on here. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. All right. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't... Uh... Great. I have to pay. Well, I guess she's going to pay. Wait here for a second. All right. So I guess she can only talk to clients? Like it's a specific... Well, while she's doing that, let's look at the Book of Fables here. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I bet it's it's just like uh, she's... Uh, they're all enchanted to not be able to talk. Uh, okay, so Georgie Porgy. Oh, ew. Uh, the Pimp. Georgie runs the Pudding and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of that, er, none of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Well, I know that one. Clever Hans, bouncer, janitor, handyman. Clever Hans d uh, always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Unsurprisingly, she left him, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now, he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Interesting. And now Nerissa, the Little Mermaid. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess... Uh, Oh, 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 when he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has uh, very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. That really sucks. Uh, again, depressing all the way around. Ugh. Georgie Porgy. Not 207? You'll think of something. Yeah. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. Uh huh. I hope you find what you're looking for. Alrighty. Kablum. No standing anytime. Quick cash. Checks cash money orders. Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> okay. Hey, you're a cop, man. That's dirty. Sir? What a great hotel. Do 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 loading. The Open Arms Hotel, the Bronx. Looks quite shitty. So I might as well light it up here. All right. Uh, I can look at the soda machine. Yeah. She'll kill you. Uh-huh. As he takes a puff from his cigarette. 